rhythm of yawn at the moment. The Barclay Square over here, it's looking fantastic. And that's what we need to, to do is keep these things going and look after the heritage and look after our towns as well. So without further ado, I would like to officially uh, claim the tulips open. Another great day for y'all and I think really the people in y'all need to realise we are working for y'all, this is another good story and just listen to the background music, isn't it lovely? The town is looking well, you need to go back in the old videos and see what has been improved in the last few years, you won't know the place. Projects we've seen um, right across South East Cork in the last couple of years, this is an outdoor marketplace, this is, a, this is to allow for basically all year round allowing activities and promotions, markets to run in the town here. Uh, we were approached by the Chamber of Commerce um, a number of years ago, I suppose, with the concept. Uh, we were delighted with the idea because it links directly back into the kinds of investments that we've been making here in, in Yall and beyond for years into the small craft, the tourism and into the food. So this, this brings it all together. It gives people an opportunity to come here. Uh, it, it creates more attractions and it creates another marketplace for our local food and craft. What do you think of it? Oh, incredible, beautiful, Looks wonderful. Good. Stands out, it's an attraction in itself. I think people will actually come here and I'm sure there will be people who will arrive just to see this place in itself. It's great to see it come from the drawing board actually. To be, uh, it's to absolutely be incredible. Again, I suppose um, uh, all credit to the town here, to the chamber here uh, and to the people that have been behind us for years um, because this is now a kind of a space that's a real a, a centre of development I suppose. Uh, maybe as, as the mayor has just mentioned earlier, it's kind of a, hopefully the beginning of something absolutely brand new again. Great for you all. Great for you all. Great for the area. Great for us as, a, as an investment body. CCAT have been absolutely, you know, in the last couple of years, how the town of you all, the people of you all have come up, stood up to them, stood up to what's going on around them and actually gone and done things for themselves. And that's what we want to do. We want to invest in that kind of initiative. Uh, Ryan, sir, speaking of all, we, you all, we have a famous you all woman beside you right here. Barbara Murray, how are you? <laughs> Not too bad Barbara, tell the folks who are your title now, please. I'm Councillor Barbara Murray. I'm Town Councillor and County Councillor and I'm also Director of the Chamber. Uh, ba Barbara, and just like I said to Ryan, they are from the drawing board to see this wonderful uh, this, uh, structure behind From it. concept yeah. to reality, absolutely fantastic. A lot of speculation initially about the, the umbrellas. Uh, people were a little bit more uh, pessimistic rather than optimistic, but my attitude always was wait until you see the finished product. And again, like that, it's if they saw, if this was seen someplace else, the question would be, why can't we have it in Yall? So we have it in Yall, and it is going to be a huge asset. You'll see it from driving over the Yall Bridge. At night time, it is absolutely spectacular. What, why are you always promoting Yall, Barbara? Because I love it with a passion. <laughs> I think Yall is an absolutely great place to live. I think we have a fantastic quality of life. We mightn't have everything we want, but we have an awful lot going for us. Do you think this will enhance all the uh, panoramic views down here? To oh, see yes. And all that for, for the, it's actually, for the tourists, for the locals as It's well, actually yeah? going to be a case of it would be a shame to put cars in here, and right. it is a car park. <laughs> but it is. It's going to be a lovely space. Um, at night time, you can sit out here. People you know, go um, mackerel fishing here. You can sit and watch the boats go by. You can go into the Keys and have a drink and come back out here and enjoy the views. It's just a lovely space. And get shelter also. And get shelter also. A shower. But again, it's going to be something to attract people.
people like if they never plan to come to y'all well, you see this in the distance you're going to wonder what is it and I think it's just going to be something that will make us stand out from everybody else Thank you very much Barbara Thank Beside you. you we have Siobhan Sheehan Siobhan uh, can you tell us uh, what, you, what you think about this oh, uh, I think that there, it's absolutely fantastic we're very excited about it from a tourism point of view it's just going to be so helpful to the town it's, it's really amazing I mean and as Ryan said already it's, uh, the umbrellas themselves will, will cause people to come and uh, come and have a look at it and I'm also one of the organisers of the Queen of the Sea Festival and a couple of years ago I mean it rained during the festival and we had to hire a marquee and it was back so you know so for events like that I mean we're not dependent on the weather anymore and we were lucky last year with the summer but you know it'll keep the sun off you as well you know so, stop, so the, stop so, getting sunburned so, so the Queen of the Sea is going to be well covered this year oh you know, definite, all, all definitely things. well covered you know so up to bigger and better things you know but I mean they're just they look absolutely fantastic and we're just thrilled with them you right, know. Too, too many people to mention Barbara here of the Sea Cad all involved uh, when, do you, when did it first announce that this was going to happen? Um, you must the, be excited the, the tourism the, point of view. Yes, from a tourism point of view, I mean, CCAD came up with the, with the funding, a project um, for funding for um, it was uh, for the rural development, rural, um, development. rural development leader, program. leader programs, and um, as part of that, then there was capital funding for events and festivals. So we said instead of buying a lot of little things, that we would try and go for something bigger that would enhance the town enhance events and um, so this is what we came up with you know and they were specially designed for here and they you know keep the area covered and they were kindly funded by CCAD and you know so this is a new old town council. We had a sneak preview last night they looked pretty well with the lights on them. Oh they look absolutely beautiful and they kind of went viral on Facebook last night so you know so, so the surprise element of the opening this morning was uh, you know gone by the by the time it came on so they were opened last night and the lights were shining up on under them and they looked absolutely beautiful it was lovely t the town hall was beautiful in the background. And, and it would add to the Christmas effect for the rest of the month. And you know what they're they're for everybody so for all events they're there for for all organizations in the town and for all events this is what they're there for and you know it's it's going to add to the town fantastically Siobhan Barbara and uh, Ryan thank you very much indeed thank you thank you thank okay with me is uh, the mayor of Yalt's uh, councillor Sammy Revens Sammy what's going on today what's going on today Michael is, is the is the actual officially opening of the the new tulips as we call them like you know it's it's here in in uh, Neilands Key uh, a development that started about over 12 months ago, really, I suppose. Well, the initiative was brought in there 12 months ago between the Chamber of Commerce and, and CCAD. There was a, a funding available for 180,000, and this is what's after coming out of it. And I think it's absolutely fantastic. You know that? You just cut, cut the ribbons a while back. As I said, I, I, I said my few words about the people up. I said, look, I don't want to be doing this on my own. I can't take credit for this because it's a group that done it. I said, like, there was CCAD, there was uh, Yard Town Council, there was the Chamber of Commerce and Tourism. You know, I mean, that's what it's all about. Uh, when we look back here, Sam, with all the people around here and the marketplace, it looks magnificent. Absolutely fabulous, Michael. Like, you know, and I was impressed to come in this evening. There was a show at the end there, and, you know, we were safely underneath, and, you know, the show passed off, and we were all kept dry. It's ticking all the boxes. Then. Absolutely. Siobhan Sheen from the Tourism Office was telling me that it'd be great for her if so it does rain for during the Queen to see it'd be fantastic for that. Well, I think this is happy. the whole idea of it, Michael. Like, is, you know, like if we have a summer like last summer, it's going to be perfect because I mean, you can have whatever event you want down here. Then have your umbrellas up. They're very, very attractive looking. See them by night time. They're lit up. They're looking absolutely brilliant. Yeah, well, I was just saying there. We had we a sneak preview last night. There looked up. It was <laughs> something like the, the aliens had landed. Yes, yes, yes. It was yes, amazing yes. to see on the water. Uh, it's, it's something there. It's something different for you. all like a, another new landmark for you. all like right. you know, instead of a historical one, it's right. a, it's a new one. You okay, know? and it's blended in with the panorama. The yeah, yeah, just, just doing right. Very good, very good. Uh, fi uh, finally, Sam, I, I believe this is your last uh, 10 years mayor of I'm, you all? Well, it is. As you know, Michael, uh, five years ago I decided I was retiring from the town council, but I didn't think the town councils were going to be retired after five years. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a sad thing to see it for local democracy. Things like this are not going to happen when uh, when, the, when, we're, when we're gone, like, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm just saddened by the, the, the loss of uh, local democracy you now. Yeah. No matter how good or bad we are, at least we were a voice. That you said, know? while you were in the council chamber, you had good times. I had great times, Michael. I had 20 good years, and I must say, I'll miss it when I'm gone. But look, you all were good to me, and I was good to you all, and you know, that's what it's all about. Okay, Mayor of Yall, Sammy Revels, thank you very much indeed. And you too, Michael, and happy Christmas to you. Councillor Owen Flanagan, yeah, Yall Town Council. Uh, Owen, what do you think of today's event? Oh, it's a, it's a great event, you know, it's great to see so many people out here, you know, Christmas, you know, just, uh, as to the, the buzz, you know, Christmas starts here. What do you think of the two you know? umbrellas? 
I don't know the the, the, the great great cycle, like, you know you just just just, just part of coming coming out the back straight there, you know, just, you know. They're great, great attractions of the town, you know. They, they, they look amazing, don't they? I do, you know. You're, you're definitely, we spot them like they're, they're definitely uh, unique to, to East Cork, anyway, you know. Well, the, we had the unveiling of the umbrellas today, um, you know, on Neil and Ski, which is uh, a big plus for, for you all, you know. Um, as you can see, it looks lovely. There's a lot of crowd around, you know what I mean? A great buzz, a lot of food stalls, and people are very happy coming in and out, you know. From a chamber perspective, you must be very happy. Oh, without a doubt, there was a lot of um, a lot of work went into this, you know, between be, behind the scenes, there was a lot of work went in, you know, meetings with CCAD and County Council and Cork, Con, Town Council, should I say, sorry. And um, yeah, a lot of work and a lot of paperwork and a lot of a lot of everything, really, you know what I mean? Uh, Patrick, you're also involved with the Queen to Sea Festival um, and uh, that's about to enhance the festival uh, next year. Oh, without a doubt, yeah. I mean, like, uh, like the one thing about the festival, we've been looking the last two years with the festival, is the, the weather has been great for us. No, we have the option. Of, if the weather is not good, we have the option. We can't use the weather as an excuse anymore because we have these as as a kind of a you know a, a, a funnel, if you like. You know what I mean? To for have people inside and you know you know use use them. You know. It's a great effort, also then. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, it, as as I was just saying to one of the under chamber directors, there's a lot of a lot of things happening over the all the last two years, and, and and it's all for the good. Thank God. You know what I mean? A lot of work being done and a lot of things, and you all is looking for the better for it. You know. Okay. What do you think of yourself? I think they're they're I think they're massive. I mean, like it's a case. I was there last night. And I took a photograph from last night myself knowing it came on at five o'clock and for all the world it looked like you were over in Dubai or somewhere like you know what I mean it, it, like when you see him you just think you're in a different country uh, Rafaela and Karen and uh, you work in the Ouija's I believe what do you think of this place down here now it's very nice not a lot of people very Christmas vibe it's nice what do you think of the tulip umbrellas oh they're good it's good I can. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, they're good, yeah. Okay. You work at Luigi's as well? Yeah, I'm mainly in the bakery. Okay. What, what, is it like another avenue to be down here in the marketplace? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. definitely, yeah. yeah and uh, with, the, with the Tulip Umbrellas launch today, is it uh, good to know that there's a bit of coverage in case the weather turns bad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we've got our busy Zeebo, so we need that too as well. Uh the town. I'd also like to thank you all town council for their support and cooperation with this project and also the excellent work they've carried out for both the installation of the tulip umbrellas and the fantastic work that's been carried out to the entire public realm. And without this cooperation it would not have been possible to complete this project to such a high standard. Also, just a few words have to be said to applaud Colin Brennan of David Kelly Partnership, who are responsible for the design of this whole key area. And they brought in MDT from Germany, who, if you look at the umbrellas, they, they were designed specifically for y'all, uh, because if you look at the, they came from, the idea came from the Meeting House Square in Dublin, where they have huge umbrellas. But these ones had to be designed to withstand wind. They're normally just designed to withstand areas in towns where it would be 60 kilometers an hour would cover. So these ones are strengthened and reinforced to 100 kilometers an hour. And if you look down here to your left, where you'll see some block work and bricks, there are more bases. So the umbrellas can, over a period of a day, be moved to create a whole plaza effect. So we've had a mu much bigger area can be covered. And this is, this is a simple idea. The, the day they were brought in from Germany, they're literally plonked in the ground, picked up and moved. So you can have a much bigger area for a much bigger affair. And, this week, and if you look to today's examiner in the business section, we have a photo of the umbrellas with the town hall in the background. So basically, at a simple effect, this is generating huge publicity. And I think y'all needs that. And if you look at the town today and the town a couple of years ago, all these things are enhancing the area greatly. And on a final note, um, we have a delegation going to Dublin this week to try and push getting um, some, some businesses back into the factories in town. So this is all the stuff that's going on behind the scenes. Thank you very much for listening, folks. Thank you, Mark. Uh, I'd also like to recognise uh, Deputy Sandra McLennan has just arrived and also my fellow councillors, um, Councillor uh, Michelle Hennessy is here today, Councillor Owen, uh, yes, and Michael, they're all here today. Uh, so this is uh, Councillor Mary Lynn Foley. Um, without further ado now, I'm going to call in uh, Mr. Ryan Howard from CCAD. 
Uh, CCAD would be uh, one of our main funders and they were the main funders for this project and without them there are a lot of projects in the all that wouldn't have gone ahead. So, uh, Reinhard, use a few words. Afternoon, everybody. Um, it's just wonderful to be here again today in the all here um, as part of a very important venture. Um, uh, as many of you know, CCAD has been in place for over 18 years, um, a community investment organisation. We've invested in hundreds of small community projects, environmental projects, and most importantly in the last number of years, in hundreds of small businesses, the food, the craft, and the tourism type of ventures. Uh, um, and that has had a real effect, and as, as has been said earlier, we've been delighted to be involved in a number of key investments here in the town in the last couple of years. Recently we were involved obviously in the Yall Community Radio, fantastic project there. Uh, we support Comunadina in developments over the years, and also soon we'll be seeing the opening of a new craft centre in, uh, down in uh, St Mary's, which would be fantastic as well. Uh, but today we're part of, I suppose, this really important venture, uh, which allows for uh, a different type of marketplace uh, and a different type of space to be developed here and worked here in the old. Uh, it'll create opportunities for more events and more activities uh, and, and that will create more opportunities for people to come to this town uh, and create business for the whole town as well as for the local smart, small marketing uh, bodies as well as the local businesses and local food and craft. Uh, so I must just finalise, I suppose finish up by saying we have to recognise the great input that's made by the town itself, by the community of the all, uh, by the, the Chamber of Commerce here, Town Council uh, and, and a lot more people besides. So just to say, congratulate everybody involved and recognise as well the work that's done by the Board of Directors. Barbara worked as a Director of CCAT as well um, because without their work this investment could not have been possible. So thank you very much. Thank you. And Right. First citizen of the town, councillor Sammy Revens, to say a few words, but also to officially open our tulips. Um, Deputy Stanton, Deputy Hennessy, uh, County Councillors, Town Councillors, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it gives me great pleasure to be here today to be actually at the official opening of the tulips. Uh, for a simple reason, is I'd like to take my hat off to the Chamber of Commerce and taking on the initiative of going ahead with this project and for CCAD for funding it. And I know your town council has backed it. And I hope that the critics will eat their words because this is a fantastic project and it's the start of New York. Um, and I, I hope everybody will enjoy these. They're there for everybody to enjoy. And again, these markets are about enjoying it as well. And again, without the chamber and without the town council and without CCAD, none of these, these things would happen. And I know that next year, after May, town councils won't be there. So hopefully that uh, these groups will work together in the next, uh, with the next uh, councils and, and keep these things going. Because if you look at the pu public realm of Yawn at the moment, the Barker Square over here, it's looking fantastic. And that's all we need to, to do is keep these things going and look after the heritage and look after our towns as well. So without further ado, I would like to officially uh, claim the tulips open. Let me talk to you.